Samantha, a daydreamer by nature, often found solace in her imagination, allowing herself to escape from the harsh realities of her life as a struggling single mother. She would indulge in these reveries during her long walks home from work, letting her dreams simmer until she reached her doorstep. However, there were days when the weight of her responsibilities and the challenges she faced became too much to bear. On one such day, frustrated by yet another fine for being late to work and the lack of understanding from her manager, Samantha found herself longing for a simpler life and yearning for companionship. Lost in her thoughts about finding love and stability, Samantha was abruptly brought back to reality by the blinding headlights of an oncoming car and a forceful push from behind. She stumbled onto the road, shocked and disoriented, only to find the person who had pushed her lying next to her. As she tried to gather her wits, Samantha realized that the person who had pushed her was a young man, disheveled and clearly distressed. She could see the fear and panic in his eyes as he apologized profusely, explaining that he had been running from someone and had not seen her in front of him. Despite the shock and confusion of the moment, Samantha's maternal instincts kicked in. She reassured the young man, helping him to his feet and checking if he was injured. Once she was sure he was okay, Samantha called for help and waited with him until the ambulance arrived. As she sat on the sidewalk, comforting the young man, Samantha couldn't help but reflect on the fragility of life and the unexpected turns it could take. In that moment, she felt a sense of gratitude for her own life and the resilience she had developed over the years. And as she watched the ambulance drive away, Samantha knew that no matter what challenges came her way, she would always find the strength to face them head on. One moment, Samantha had been ready to confront the man who had pushed her, but the next, she realized he had actually saved her from being hit by a car. Grateful, she accepted his outstretched hand and stood up, taking a closer look at him for the first time. She saw a man in tattered clothes, covered in dirt and grime, but there was something about his demeanor that intrigued her. Despite his rough appearance, he had a certain charm and a hint of humor in his eyes. Thank you for saving me, Samantha said sincerely. The man grinned. Well, I don't usually go around saving people, but I guess today was an exception. Samantha chuckled. You're quite the character, aren't you? You have to be when life throws you curveballs, he replied with a shrug. Speaking of which, I woke up one day with no memory of who I am or where I came from. Samantha was taken aback. You're serious? Dead serious, he said. All I know is that I was in an accident, lost all my documents, and ended up on the streets. This scar on my head is the only clue I have about my past. As they continued their walk, the man shared more of his story with Samantha. He told her about his struggles to survive on the streets and how he had learned to find humor in even the darkest of times. They reached a crossing, just a few minutes away from Samantha's home, and she realized she didn't want their conversation to end. She invited him to join her for a meal, wanting to hear more about his life and perhaps find a way to help him. As the storm clouds gathered, Samantha noticed the man's makeshift cardboard sign fly away in the gusty wind. Concerned for his safety, she insisted he come with her to her home, just five minutes away. Despite his initial hesitation, the man accepted her offer. Once at Samantha's house, she cleared a space in the garage for him to spend the night, offering him an inflatable bed and a blanket. Grateful for her kindness, the man settled in, still surprised by the unexpected turn of events. As Samantha's children bombarded him with questions at the dinner table, the man smiled, feeling a sense of warmth and belonging he hadn't experienced in a long time. What's your name? One of the children asked eagerly. The man hesitated for a moment, unsure of what to say. He had long forgotten his own name, lost in the haze of his forgotten past. But as he looked at the welcoming faces around him, he felt a glimmer of hope. You can call me Jack, he finally replied, choosing a name that felt right in that moment, Jack Frost. The next morning, Samantha's plan for the day included a visit from her friend Barry, who worked at the precinct. She hoped he could help the man, now called Jack Frost, uncover more about his identity 
and the theft of his documents. She also scheduled an appointment at the General Hospital for an evaluation of his memory issues. However, Jack expressed fear about meeting the police, worrying they might mistake him for a criminal. Samantha reassured him and asked for his trust, which he gave, grateful for her help. As Samantha rushed to leave for work, she realized she was late again and hoped her boss would be understanding. Unfortunately, he was not. Furious at her repeated tardiness, he called her into his office and promptly fired her. Meanwhile, at home, Jack waited anxiously for Barry's visit, unsure of what the day would bring. The walk home, usually a peaceful one for Samantha, was now filled with stress and worry about her future job prospects and bills. As she approached her house, she noticed a gathering of cars outside, indicating something unusual was happening. Inside, she found a group of people in suits talking to the homeless man, who she now knew as Mr. Stark, the owner of Stark Hotels. He had been missing for five days, and everyone had started to doubt if he would ever be found. Mr. Stark confirmed his identity, and Samantha's boss apologized for firing her earlier in the day, acknowledging her incredible act of kindness in helping Mr. Stark. He reinstated her job and hinted at a possible raise. Overwhelmed with emotion, Mr. Stark thanked Samantha, and they shared a heartfelt embrace, marking the end of his ordeal and the start of a new chapter for both of them. That heartfelt embrace marked the beginning of many new chapters. Samantha earned a well-deserved promotion, and Mr. Stark continued to visit her and the children, lending seamlessly into their lives. A year and a half later, in the same garage where Samantha had once offered him shelter, Mr. Stark knelt down on one knee. With his heart full of gratitude for the woman who had transformed his life, he was ready to make a life-changing declaration.